Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Tribes Ascend. I'm sure that a lot of you, if not all of you, know about this game already. Um, it's really, really fun. I mean, sure, I like games, but for a while now I, I haven't really felt much um, passion for them. Because I've just been busy with other stuff. But this game, after playing it for a little bit, I, I sort of like fell in love with it. It's not because it's free. But that's definitely a plus, but because it's just really, really fun. Like, I haven't had fun playing a game, especially a shooter, in a very long time. I would go as far as saying that Quake 3 was probably the last shooter I really, really enjoyed. Um, but this game sort of comes close to it. Um, the one thing that it lacks, in my opinion, which I'm not sure if the Infiltrator has it or not, the Infiltrator, the Sentinel has it or not, is an instant uh, high damage long-range weapon, just instant, like the railgun used to be in Quake 3, because that was probably like my favorite weapon overall. It was awesome playing with a railgun. Also the rocket launcher, but most weapons in tribes nowadays can be somewhat compared to the rocket launcher in terms of uh, speed and uh, velocity and AoE, so sort of like mini rocket launchers. But anyway, what I'm playing here is a raider, which um, <clears throat> got a new weapon today. It's a plasma gun. People have been saying it's crazy OP, but I don't know. Sure, I mean, I'm not really used to it yet. I mean, I've only been playing the game for three days overall, like in total. So <clears throat> I'm not quite the best at it. By the way, this game that you're seeing over here, it's, um, I think, a massive amount of kill steals or kill thefts happen in this game. Not sure if, this, if it was this one or another one, but I recorded a bunch of games to kind of have something to talk over. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, the plasma gun. It's basically like a <clears throat> like a can be compared to a spin fuser. It's you have to recharge it. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have like a set amount of ammo that you just run out of. You you actually have to recharge it. It has a ten um, ten round clip. So that's a bit of a pain sometimes because I'm I'm used to playing a soldier with a spin fuser that I got through the special code that was posted a while ago on um, MMORPG. I'm not sure if they still have any or not. It was 2,000 codes or 2,600 codes left uh, a couple of days ago. And I grabbed myself um, a spin fuser for the soldier because the Pathfinder just... It's it's sort of fun, but it's way too fast, I think, for me. I don't, I don't like moving like a crazy fucktard. So I got it for the soldier and I got used to playing it with the soldier and it's really really nice it's it's a lot loads of fun I don't I don't think I would switch from the soldier anytime soon but I couldn't resist the temptation because people were like going crazy about this new weapon that is just so OP but after playing with the spin fuser for so long it kind of it's a different feel to it it takes a while to get used to it plus you got to remember that the rate of fire is much faster which is probably the reason for which people are considering it overpowered but Direct hits with this weapon, that's why I don't think it's that overpowered. Direct hits are 500 damage. Well, with um, <clears throat> with Spin Fuser, you get much more than that. You get like 650 something. So, 150 damage is a lot. It's 10% of your HP. Uh, if you have, if you're like a meaty sort of buffed up class. So, I don't think it's, it's that OP. But yeah, I can see people that are really good at this game and really good at the genre in general. I know I'm not particularly fantastic at it. Um, they would probably use it to the best of its ability. So I can see why people would, would start complaining about it. Um, but so far, I mean, I've gotten some pretty sweet kills with it, I gotta say. But I don't know, something still isn't right with it. I'm, I guess I'm just not used to it, but I don't know. Um, so far, I mean, the discrepancy between really bad players and very good players is not that apparent in Tribes yet. So I guess there will still be some time until players can um, freely differentiate between the really good and the really bad. Once in a while, I get this one guy in one of my games that's just out of this world nuts. He gets like 30 kills within the first, I don't know, two minutes or something. He's just crazy, crazy good. But most players revolve around six, seven, eight. 10 kills for the average person in the game. So, of course, it depends on what server you're playing on. I'm playing on Amsterdam, Europe, because I get the, I get pretty good ping on it. So, for me, that that works out very well, very well, very well, very well. Random words, making up random words. So, yeah, I like the game. It's very fun, and I'm gonna post the link in the uh, description below if you still haven't heard of it. Which I'm surprised because. 
I would be surprised actually because like what 95% of my subscribers are uh, coming from Total Biscuits channel so like yeah he's posted a lot of tribes videos and st stuff but the only reason I, I wanted to post a video with this game is because I actually have a lot of fun playing it it gets frustrating as as like first most frustrating thing in the world at times but I would say that 95% of the time it it's a game that I enjoy playing, unlike other game, other online multiplayer games that you just feel like ripping your fucking hair out. At least I do. I just don't have patience with a lot of games. But this one, it's fast. It goes really quick, uh, f really fast pace. No, sp it's it's easy. You know, it's an easy game. Like you know what you have to do. Um, not sure what the fastest way of earning experience is. I'm pretty sure it's not team deathmatch, but I really, um, really enjoy team deathmatch. So. Um, I just like killing shit. I don't like special too much special tactics uh, ruins the the fun of the game for me. I just like going toe to toe with people and killing them and like cluster fucks of people and just raping everyone when I can. Most of the time it's me getting raped, so it's the other way around. But hey, what you gonna do? Shit happens. You gotta start somewhere. I mean, I haven't played a shooter, um, not I wouldn't say competitively, but like regularly, and I would say years at this point. Still, when I was uh, like seven, eight years probably, when I was in school, I used to go to a uh, net cafe and play Quake 2, because Quake 3 wasn't out yet actually when, when I was still playing 3D shooters. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., I would play Quake 2 for 12 hours. Same map over and over, because everyone loved The Edge, if you remember it. So, yeah, it was like the, the craziest fucking marathons ever. We, we, we used to have like 12, 13 hour marathons of just playing quick. So I've been, since then I've been looking for a game that would um, make me want to play it for that long. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of friends to play with online now, so I see some people are following me in, uh, in tribes. I have like a bunch of followers, but uh, I haven't really played with anyone or communicated with everyone while playing, so I've just been sort of been solo. I like the fact that people don't talk a lot in this game, which is nice because in a lot of 3D shooters, there's something about the genre that just attracts a huge amount of retards. Just look at Call of Duty or any other military-style shooter. So I guess it's nice that they didn't really approach the military side of, uh, of things in this game, because it seems somewhat retard-free so far. Of course, it's only at the beginning, so God only knows what will happen later on. I don't want to think about it, but so far it seems okay. Um, what else is there to say? Don't really uh, think there's much to talk about. I mean, it can't really one can't really commentate a game such as Tribes. There's basically stuff going on. Um, what I would like to do, whatever, however, whatever, at some point, is to actually get a proper, because I'm a guy that likes tools and toys, and there's something wrong with my mouse. Like I don't know what. Maybe it's not precise enough. Maybe it's just too bulky for me, but when I play 3D shooters with my current setup, I have a G15 keyboard, the, the new model, not the old one, because everyone seems to go crazy for the old model. I don't see the big deal. I have never used G keys in my entire life, so for me, crazy shitty keyboard would be just the same as this one. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a good keyboard. But the mouse, it's a Logitech, and it's made not really for fast-paced games or shooters in specific. It's pretty bulky, it's ergonomic mouse, so molds to the hand, but it doesn't mold in the way that I want it to, because in a game such as Stripes, which is particularly fast-paced, you can't really get that uh, turning speed that you want, because I do most of my movements when I play something like this from the wrist, and I know that's not the healthiest way of doing it, because of carpal tunnel and everything, but it's just what comes natural, I can't really go against instinct, because you don't really have a lot of time to think in this game, you know, you go head to, head to head with someone, you shoot or you don't shoot, or you run away, or you, you know, oh, that was a smooth kill. Unfortunately, it didn't count for shit. Anyway, <laughs> I would like to get one of these um, either Steel Series or Razor Mice. I saw they have a few models that are somewhat smaller than, uh, than my current one and not really so curvy and ergonomic. So, yeah. I, I played, actually, I played a bunch of matches trying to get some decent footage because um, I, I, I don't know. I just got raped in a lot of them. My team was shit, and I was shit, and it seems like I always play better when I play with people that are 
or at least one person that is better than me. When I'm on a team that's full of noobs, I just seem to die just as... Oh my god, my computer just went to sleep mode when I was recording this. Um, I just seem to suck more than I would if I were to play with a, a decent player. I don't know, it's just, I guess it's inspiring in some way. I don't know if anyone else gets that. Might be just an excuse, pussying out and not carrying the team. But yeah, it has happened to me that I actually... Even at my current level, I get to actually carry an entire team, which is embarrassing for them, to say the least. Even though, probably a month from now, I'm not going to say that because, you know, practice does make perfect, and in time I will learn to master this goddamn weapon. By the way, the weapon costs, I think, eight, 780 gold to unlock, but which, I, of course, I had to buy. But uh, you can get a bundle, so you get the weapon and you get a secondary weapon for 800 gold, and I think you get two extra skins with that, so... I don't think... Uh, yeah, I made a big mistake buying just the weapon, because I was really hyped about it, and I was like, Oh shit, it's out! You know, BAM! 8 euros. And then I see the bundle that had two skins and a secondary weapon. Because the secondary weapon for, for the Raider kinda sucks, uh, it's just too slow, like... I don't know, it's just, the bullets don't seem to follow. I'd rather have a pistol as a secondary weapon than that fucking garbage machine gun. It's accurate, it's nice, but it's still... It's not my thing. I prefer instant shots. I prefer single instant shots than a, a stream of bullets. Because people move weird and sometimes there's lag, which you can't really prevent. You can't really work around, so you can't do jack about it. And the machine gun just doesn't really seem to follow. Unless we're talking about other people who seem to completely master the machine gun and kill me with it every fucking game. I don't know how the hell some guy gets like every single shot in with a machine gun when I can't hit anyone. Because I know I'm moving around a lot, but it's, it just feels like they're using a fucking auto-aim sometimes. I guess it's just people being good. You can't really do much about that except try to be better yourself, but it's a pain in the ass thing is I don't really I haven't really put a lot of effort into a computer game for a long time as I said because I haven't had time and I guess the most recent game that I could say that I really played from start to end and put a lot of thought and effort in was Deus Ex Human Revolution and that has nothing to do with um, an online FPS like nothing it's, it's totally different so this, a game like this it's for me uh, kind of a new experience and it's somewhat stressful like you can see even in my gameplay I sort of freak out and my mouse just spasms all over the place because I don't know what's happening it's still like three days in my opinion it's not enough to get completely used to a game like this but I'm doing okay like I've had some really really super cool games in which um, I had like some crazy fucking super you would think that I had been playing this for five years I had some kills that I could not believe myself so <laughs> I have my moments, I guess. The first two or three games of the day, because I, I usually play this game at night, like past 12-1. Uh, the first two or three games are the shittiest, because I have to get used to it. I don't get how I didn't get an assist there. That was just... I do have a feeling that this game sometimes sort of... I don't know if there's like a damage uh, threshold that you have to pass. Someone, If someone can answer this for me, because I haven't read up on it and it just popped into my mind. Like, is there a damage threshold that you need to pass? for you to get an assist bonus, because I've shot, in these games that I play today, it seems like I was cursed or something. I shot so many fucking people, like I could see the damage numbers, you know, and then they died and I didn't get an assist for it. They just died and that's it, I didn't get a bonus. So that was kind of annoying, so I think the game, either there's a damage, damage threshold or the game is sort of, still needs a bit of work when it comes to that aspect. I can't really tell for now. I guess I should read the patch notes or any sort of notes or maybe the tutorial before I, <laughs> I decide to make a video on it. But who needs tutorials? Fuck that. I haven't even played the, any tutorial at all. I just started playing this game straight away. <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm not <laughs> that great at it. This is actually one of my better games of the series. I got seven kills in this one, but yeah, it's... it's sometimes when there's like a huge clusterfuck and you don't know wh in which way to shoot, you get like a random projectile in your mouth, in your teeth, out of nowhere, and it's... I guess it's just one of the aspects of the game, you know, you have to be prepared for something like that, but it seems to happen to me more often than not, and, like, I get this complete shitter, seriously, like, this this complete newbie, because I killed him, like, five times before, so I know he sucks, and he just shoots, like, this one shot that just goes straight to my skull from behind the bush somewhere, out of nowhere, and it's... it's like, how the fuck did you do that? How lucky can you get? To, to get a shot like that good, that precise. 
But yeah, it's one of the. Uh, I guess it's just one of the aspects of this game. Like, oh my god, they're gangbanging me here. I'm freaking to run away. Um, so I guess in that sense, it's a bit noob, noob friendly, unlike Quake 3, where you can't really get that lucky. Uh, because of every projectile has, or almost every projectile has a sort of um, a path and a duration until impact, it makes it easy for people to get lucky shots much easier than, for example, if you were to do it with a railgun or a sniper rifle, which the Sentinel does have, but I don't really like it because it's not insta kill. I, I prefer a weapon like either the the the, um, the one in Unreal Tournament that was insta kill or the railgun in Quake 3. And I don't know if there's a weapon like that yet because I haven't unlocked all of my classes. Because I don't have that much money to spend on a uh, Tribes Ascend as I would like to. I did buy uh, two rounds of 800 gold each, so yeah, I guess that's about all I'm going to spend for now. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for my next videos. Bye bye.